this reaction is mediated by the enzyme aldolase aldolase the next reaction is phosphorylation reaction here pseudo heptulose 7 phosphate is produced by losing of one inorganic phosphate here pseudo heptulose 17 bisphosphate phosphate formed as pseudo heptulose 7 phosphate by losing of one inorganic phosphate molecule this reaction is mediated by pseudo heptulose 7 phosphatase 7 phosphatase and next is the reaction it is a cleavage reaction here the pseudo heptulose is cleaved into ribose 5 phosphate and xylulose 5 phosphate pseudo heptulose 7 phosphate by adding with two molecule of PGAL then it converted into two forms they are ribulose 5 phosphate and xylulose 5 phosphate xylulose 5 phosphate the, uh, this reaction mediated by trans ketolase trans ketolase how many molecules of ribulose 5 phosphates are produced means two molecules of ribulose 5 phosphate and two molecules of xylulose 5 phosphates are produced next reaction is formation of ribulose 5 phosphate from xylulose 5 phosphate xylulose 5 phosphate to ribulose ribulose 5 phosphate so this reaction is mediated by epimerase epimerase and the next reaction is isomerization reaction here ribose 5 phosphate isomerized as ribulose 5 phosphate and the next reaction here the mediated enzyme isomerase ribose 5 phosphate isomerase and the next reaction production of RUBP regeneration of RUBP so ribulose 5 phosphate here 1 ATP molecule is get reduced then ribulose 1 5 bisphosphate plus ADP is produced it means RUBP is regenerated here. So, out of the 12 molecules of glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate, 2 molecules are used for net production of glucose, exosugars. sugars. So, the formed exosugars sugars are entered into the cytoplasm and remaining 10 glyceraldehyde 3 phosphates are used for production of 6 molecules of ribulose 15 bis phosphate 